I am recording and having sex. Oh, yeah, I got to record. Oh. Okay, I'm recording. Nice. And we're recording. Nick, how many burpees can you do? What do you mean, how many? Do you do sets? No, I mean, I just do, you do them like continuously. Do you do for like five minutes and then rest and then five minutes or whatever? You got to turn your mic down. Yeah, we can hear. Okay, hello? You're, you're way too loud. Your headphones, bitch. I think we can hear. Can you hear his echo too? Or is that coming from you, Nick? No, it's not coming from me. Uh, ooh, I cannot get hard. Lecture. Is that quieter? Today. Yeah, there's the echo again. Maybe it is a little bit now. Yeah, it's gone. Well, psych, it's here. But it's very faint. It's not like the other echo shit. It's like yeah, no, it should be fine now. I hear from somebody's headphones. I think. No, it should be fine now. Noise. Yeah. <clears throat> Burpees. Um, yeah, I. You just you just keep doing them. You, you just know, keep like, doing them until you're exhausted. It's like saying, yeah, how many jumping jacks can you do? I have no. Well, you could do it. sets of burpees. You could do like twenty, like five sets of twenty or something, right? Are you about to be a burpees guy, Adam? I have been for a couple of days. No, you haven't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. for a while I was doing like for time, like a hundred burpees. Damn, I look cute, dude. The the light is nice. I guess You're... I should I should announce it publicly so people understand why I'm salty. About what? That, oh, that about lost, your car key. That I lost my car keys and I never locked my fucking car. And the one time I locked my car, the car keys are just fucking gone. Yeah, that's yeah. brutal, brother. I'm sorry it to sucks. hear that. It fucking sucks. I lose shit like that all the time. I never lose anything. I don't. I don't lose shit. So this is why this is like fucking driving me nuts. Welcome. Welcome. It doesn't to the make club. any any fucking sense, dude. And I know what am I gonna do? Just get fucking angry. Yeah, you just get angry. You're just gonna yeah. be angry for like a whole day. And then you're gonna you're gonna be like, dude, I'm fine. It doesn't even matter. Who cares? And then you're gonna be then angry gonna again. Angry. I'm gonna get fucking angry. <laughs> yeah. again. Dude, something like losing car keys is literally worse than like a breakup or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Because then it's like there's a more be, visceral annoyance about it. Yeah, sure. right. Because it's like you know, I I I like I could be I can't be like, well, you know, I mean, me and the car keys tried. <laughs> <laughs> Like I did everything I could to keep those fucking keys and I'm not going to feel bad about myself because yeah. it's just like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. The keys were a down, were a down bitch, dude. Mm -hmm. Always there for you. And you fucked it up. Yeah, You cheated on the keys. It doesn't make any sense. They were I'm in the sorry, bottom of my, I still have my wallet. I still have every, they're in the bottom of my fucking pocket. I know it sucks. It's horrible. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Maybe they're down a storm drain, dude. That's it has to be that. Because I retraced my steps. It has to be that they somehow came out of the bottom of my pocket and went into a fucking storm drain. And they should have a service where you can hire someone to, to yes. and you beat them to death. <laughs> yeah, if they don't <laughs> find if your bare hands <laughs> to deal with things like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that's what being like a, a cruel slave owner was. Yeah, essentially. You know? Yeah, you could break. Like I, I don't know where my cummerbund is. It's my best fucking cummerbund. <laughs> like, Je Jeremiah, where are you going? <laughs> Not again. The thirty thousand dollars a piece. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a cummerbund. It's not about. It's about the principle. It's not about the cummerbund. It's not about. Look, it's, I don't want them thinking you, I can lose stuff and no one dies. Can you just have some um, empathy for me, please? I'm in a tough place. Yeah, dude. You think you could beat a man to death with your bare hands? I mean, I Depends like uh, what state the man is in. Okay. Let's say another for you, Adam. Let's say another stronger man has knocked him woozy. Uh huh. And you've well, been. I fight, I fight by uh, Israeli army rules. Krav Maga, cheating. Yeah. Of scratches. Course. Scratches. Stooges. Eye pokes. Female style. Yeah. Eye pokes. Spitting. Spitting. Begging. Uh, begging. With the begging keys. Surrendering and then being like and then punching them in the cock. Surrendering, saying that. Knife. Exactly. Yeah. No honor. <laughs> if you have no honor, then you could be a man stronger than you. 
<laughs> just like mop, mop, mop. I feel like it would hurt to beat someone to death. You're just your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Let alone feeling their life leaving their body would feel bad for mm. me. Oh, I wonder man. if I could strangle. How long does that oh. take? Like two minutes? You could strangle. Nick could do it with his grip strength training. That's true. Nick has been training to strangle. I, don't <laughs> care. I just want my car keys back. <laughs> They're gone, dude. I just want them Make back. Make peace. Make peace. You didn't. Me. I'm not. I tried you that. Didn't leave them in the car. I have no idea. You, know? you need to be like a, a prince of Persia to get into a fucking yeah. car with that coat hanger. Yeah. Like you look it up online. A wiki how is just some anime guy that try to get one shot gets it. Yeah. No way. If that anime guy was real, not happening. No, dude. Fuck that anime Maybe guy. Serbian guy in a tracksuit. Maybe he can do it, but absolutely. Fuck. I look I mean, up look YouTube videos to try. I tried to fucking break into my apartment's coin, uh, coin laundry because I wanted to do laundry for free. Yeah. And I couldn't. Couldn't yeah. do it. Really? I, Something about me feels like I could do that. When I was a teenager, I, I got into a, in a into a couple of different vending machines. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, there was one like there was, there was the Pepsi can. Pepsi yeah. machines that I used to be able to just reach up in and pull. You you just like have to snake your hand around the flap and you get yes. in the back and pull one out. And then there was another one. I remember um, being able to use one of the you know like the the twist things for like a blinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. I threw like an empty bolt hole in the top to just like push fucking. It was with the the, the pigtail ones, like the oh ones. yes, yeah. So you could just you could rake it in there and just push fucking snacks out into the bin. That's huge. Where were yeah. these? Where were these? Um, where were these machines? It's at a grocery store nice. that I worked at. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> at work. Yeah. Oh, you could have probably <laughs> easy, much easier, more easily stolen snacks from that grocery store. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I would. I, that's what I ended up getting fired for is for, uh, yeah, steal. But it just out of like one of the coolers. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's hard not to steal from grocery stores now. Mm -hmm. Just a little, little fucking snack. One. And by the way, you should be allowed to steal whatever you want while you're shopping if you're going to shop later. From that's my uh, process. Yeah. Oh, I mean. You know, like the Whole Foods stealing section. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Part of the store. <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing is the is the olive, olive, the free oh, olive the area. Nuts. I love Are you those. Me? Yeah. The fucking I get. First of all, I'm always getting some of those little fucking mm. Parmesan. What are they like? Parmesan garlic cashews. Yeah. Or garlic salt. I don't know. They're fucking. I'm rotten. going for a dried mango slice. Mm -hmm. Oh Maybe yeah. Every time. Easy money. Or the hot bar, go through, get yourself a little piece of fried fish. <laughs> have a wing. What the fuck do you have one you, wing. Have a you, wonton. How do you get into a fucking car? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, there's no way to do it. I'm looking at a picture now. It doesn't even make any sense. Look, here's here's the interior of the car door. Let me, I, I wish you could just Are the tire, it. is the tire shop around the corner still open? If that's a tire shop. It's not a locksmith. Yeah, but they know cars. It's car just related. Do me a favor. Okay, I'm do, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I no, knew, I, just as that came out not, of my mouth, I knew you wouldn't like that. Do not offer me even the slightest bit of advice. <laughs> I'm, how about, about a, anything, how about just anything related to this issue? I'll give you sympathy. sympathy. That's the most fucking annoying thing. You lose something, and 100%. people are, and people are like, "Have you tried looking for it? Have you tried? Have you tried thinking about where it might be? Yeah, exactly. have you retraced your steps?" <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I will I'm going to fucking kill you. It's like, it's like, did you find it? Yeah, I yeah. found it. That's why I fucking threw my fucking TV down the stairs. Yeah. Because I found my keys, you dumb That's bitch. That's why there's 35 holes in the drywall. <laughs> That's like, why my wife is bleeding. Maybe you went somewhere and you could ask them if they saw it. <laughs> there is never anything good anyone can say. But if they look, I appreciate that. Yeah. That's what I want. Don't say shit to me. You Don't do the work. I am too thing. pissed to do. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You got no. All you should ever say is that fucking sucks. That sucks. It does really suck. That's fucking. Yeah. And then just the make worst. even make a cavalier attempt at looking. Just look around the room for one second. Yeah. I appreciate that so much more than mm -hmm. any verbal piece of fucking advice. Yeah. And then you go ahead and you retrace your steps and you're like, all right, this is going to do it. And then you get to the end of the step retracing and you're like, motherfucker, I did the thing. <laughs> yes, dude. I did. Now you made me do bullshit for nothing. Uh, fucking I had to walk the same thing twice. Yeah.
for no fucking no no even, fucking profit at the end. I didn't even I didn't even want to go on a fucking walk. No, I didn't want to lock my car. This is what I get for fucking trying for, to be responsible for doing shit you don't want to do, man. I know. Never again. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> don't, don't you ever do anything you uh, don't, don't leave that apartment. Yeah. It's too dangerous. You might lose your keys. Yeah. So you're never coming back to New York, huh, Adam? Like, why do you keep? Yeah. Come on. There's really not a reason to. You know. I, I mean, mean, it's like this. Works. I have this is to. Fine. I've. I have a dog. It's it's wrong of me to. Oh okay. Oh yeah. I have dog. responsibility. The dog. The dog. Mm -hmm. I have an apartment that I pay rent yep. on. Mm -hmm. I have. You could stop paying rent. Easy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon you stop peasy. right now. I have a. I have a. Yeah. You know. Well, I'll go into your house. I'll take. I don't necessarily. I I'm not here because I won't. And then I'll. Yeah, you fled. I didn't you flee because you were scared of coronavirus. Because you thought your life was more valuable than anyone you might get sick on the way out. I left before the shutdown order. Days yeah. before. I don't believe that to be the case. People are keep leaving though. People are leaving later and later in the fucking it's process. Fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Although I didn't jealous. even know, like, I felt like I started freaking out, like, because I got here and like two days later, New York shut down, and uh, I was yeah, like, "You're, you're I'm you're just ever gonna, yeah." I heard you signed a lease on an apartment in Vegas. Right I signed a lease on an apartment in West Village. In the I got West. a great deal <laughs> in the corners of Gay and uh, Gay Alley and whatever Pussy. There are streets there. Christopher, Pussy Street. Christopher and Gay Street. I believe that's. That's where I'm living at now. No, you're not. No, I'm not. No, I'll be back, dude. You know you're living I'm at the Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. That's not that's not what's going on right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you're in the fucking are casinos open? Casinos are closed for four for four weeks. The strip is dark. Wow. It's crazy. I actually want to go down there one night and check it out. Yeah. It, it sounds pretty nuts. Hell yeah. Nick, are you studying how to break a lock? Uh, I'm seeing if there's any option available. You can you can go ahead and continue your conversation. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> dude. I just I fucking saw. Speaking of Vegas, I just watched Con Air, dude. I look at something for two seconds. And you have to one of the best movies of all fucking time, dude. Dude, they I think they imploded a casino, the Dunes, and they incorporated that into the movie as like the casino getting destroyed. That was actually they were imploding the casino to build a new casino. Oh, yeah. look at that! Interesting little little that is Las a Vegas, Vegas tidbit. Yeah, I, I got like, I got. I like the Vegas aspect because it felt like the movie was over, and then he lands safely, his family's there, and then he's like, "I'm gonna fucking chase Cyrus the virus on a motorcycle." Yeah, so badass. Very good, Poe. Poe, what's his name? Great character. Who the 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 Nicholas the Cage? Pedo? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the main guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't remember. Last name Poe. What? I don't know. Uh, Cameron Poe. Cameron Poe. Yeah. Cameron Poe. He fucking rocks, dude. What an honorable man. If I only really love that Steve Buscemi character. Great character. It's yeah. It's interesting how he doesn't kill that mm. child. He's because he's so scary. Uh, the first time genius. we see that, it's so scary. what I love is there's two geniuses in the movie. There's yeah. two genius characters who are too smart. It's the genius criminals. Yes, Cyrus the virus. Cyrus the fucking virus, baby. I love when I love when John Malkovich is on top of the plane giving that like gay speech to hardened criminals. Yeah. He's like, boys, <laughs> in the annals of American crime, <laughs> doth we find such. Rascalian fellows, and they're like, yeah, that's me. That's me, dog of Rapscallion. Yeah, it's just like Nazis and fucking uh, yeah. uh, military Black Panthers and shit like right. that. Don't and forget the the, the, prison the bad boy from Drama Camp. Yeah, is the head yeah. of the, is the head of the crew who's done it all: yeah. murder, extortion, mm -hmm. whatever, dude. Yeah, why is he so smart? I don't get it. But Malkovich rocks, though. Yeah, I guess he's he's crushing it. Is that yeah. dumbass character? Yeah, and well, then he's an actor. Yeah, I know. It's I mean, awesome when guys get to. It's not like you can be an actor and you show up to make the movie and you're like, "Yeah, this is gay." <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> you just like looked at the camera and be like, "By the way, I know this movie's a this shit sucks." Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Mal, um, what's his face? 
who's the who's the other guy? There's a bunch of guys in it, but who's um the cop from High Fidelity? Uh, John Cusack. John, John Cusack. John Cusack. John Lithgow. Steve Buscemi. This guy's um, not in it. John Lithgow is in the movie. No, he is. Yes, he is. He plays. No. I just one, watched it. The FBI agent. John Lithgow's not in this movie. There's some guy with a little scrunched up face who's like, ah, you're gay. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to some gay guy. Um, yeah, what's that's the guy from um He's got a cool car. He's no, he's from he's from uh he's from fucking that seventy show. The dad from that seventy no. show. No. You're complaining that's too not John, that's not John Lithgow, but he has John Lithgow vibes. He's not in this movie either, bro. Red? Red is not in this movie. He's not in it. I haven't no. seen it. I literally saw it in the theaters uh, with my grandmother and my father. I, I think I was really? like eight years old. Yeah, Dude, that's a Bruckheimer joint, dude. That's the first Bruckheimer without, what's his face? Without your boy Donnie Simpson. Yeah, Cole Meany is in it, but I'm not. That's Cole not Meany, that's the guy. He's yeah. the guy that's like, you're gay, John Cusack. Yeah, but the, there's, it's not, it, there's somebody that's in the place of either Lithgow or the dad from, uh, is that 70 show who is in RoboCop? That's what I'm thinking of. RoboCop. Red is in RoboCop. Yes. Yeah. And then, but then who is, there's somebody else that's like not just Cusack, but then somebody else that's a government guy. Yeah. I don't know his name though. Who cares? Cusack's wearing sandals. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And I also love that the guy just has diabetes. Is there so many awesome parts? <laughs> Nicholas Cage slaps the gay guy. <laughs> I told you guys, I told you, right? When I was in the theaters, the, the gay guy starts putting on a wig and a dress and my dad just turns like full voice and says, that's a very sick man. <laughs> Dude, he's pretty tight. It was, yeah. That's honestly. I remember, I think my mom went to go see the bird cage and we were all like, boo. Yeah. It turns out that's a great movie too. Your dad was crying. He was like, oh, I, I want to see this movie. I love I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm not watching the bird cage. Did you, what, what age were you allowed to watch Rated R? I don't think I ever. I'm still not allowed, dude. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules every time I watch Rated R movies. You're breaking your mother's heart. My mom doesn't want me. My mom let me watch The Godfather with her. But my mom wasn't aware of most things. But the shit she was aware of, I couldn't watch any of. I feel like I was allowed to watch Rated R pretty early on, but my eyes got covered up for sex, but never for violence. Yeah. It says a lot about society, doesn't it, Adam? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's why I think I kind of don't I, um, I don't desire violence because I was desensitized. Mm, but you, I desire you desire violence. pussy. Yeah. Because anytime, anytime, anytime you saw a sex scene, your dad's hands were over your eyes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to peek through the fingers. Yeah. Do you make a girl hold? Do you make a girl cover your eyes when you? Fall? Uh, do I? Yes. Well, I'm. <laughs> my eyes are usually incredibly <laughs> tightly closed. It's lucky. Yeah. Um. That's cool. And then I say, "Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm ugly. Don't look at me. I'm. <laughs> I'm ugly. <laughs> uh, I'm so ugly. Don't fuck me, dude." I never like to have any thoughts in my head during sex. I like to just be busting nuts without yeah. even considering what's That's going the on. the point, dude. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. The pipe. The pipe. I got I to calm down. <laughs> yeah, you have to chill, brother. <laughs> it's a little fucking pipe, pipe tobacco. Nick's just got to chill what out here. What flavor you got going on, Nick? It's not shisha, dude. It's not fucking... It's not fucking. No, you get like cherry flavored pipe tobacco. No, like a hickory maybe. Or... Maybe hickory. Nice man. How you feeling? You feeling you good? Like a fucking sea captain, brother. Yeah, you really do right now. Well, it takes like, you know, you smoke the whole pipe. It takes like fifteen minutes. I'm jealous. And then, and then you kind of get like a body high. I'm about to go buy some black and malls. I'm trying to go pump, buy some black and malls to calm down. Yeah, I haven't it's not like weed. it's not like cigarettes, but um, yeah, I don't know what the flavor is. I just go to the 
I have I've bought three bags of tobacco in my life, and it takes like four years to smoke each one. <laughs> I'm thinking when I get back to New York, we get we get into hookah, all of us. Just blast. Well, what do you mean, like for a visit? No, not for a visit. When I go home, I guess you, you can come visit you us. You are home, though. You're home. You're home. home. This isn't where I live. I have you my can, own Vegas. You can have my live. couch if you want, bro. Whenever you want, man. And yeah, there's plenty of hookah places in Astoria. We'll take Google out for hookah on your visit if that's one of the things you want to do. We'll say, yeah, you know that guy Adam who like does our podcast who lives in Vegas? He's coming to visit. I guess. <laughs> no. He wants to yeah, see we'll have a New big York party. Like, People will be excited to see you. They'll be like, wow, we never thought you were. I mean, we knew you were a coward, but to flee the city. I like we never the had that about you. I like and then we'll so. have drinks. And it'll be fun, dude. All right. We'll have a we'll have that party, but it'll be a lie. <laughs> we'll be home again. No, it won't be. Dude, I was thinking about it. I was like, like, okay, stand-up's canceled. And then I'm like, who cares, dude? Fuck this. I, yeah. When the when the world opens up again, dude, I'm just, we'll podcast like this. I'll go to the gym. Yeah. I'll fall asleep early. Who needs to be out late at night doing I've been dumb getting up at like 7.30. I'm going to turn my whole life around by quitting comedy, dude. I know. Honestly, I don't think spots really matter. You do. I like, I'm telling you, you may think that I got the wrong system, but one string of shows a year. Yep. You know, be like, yeah, I can still stand on stage. Yeah. Right now. Fuck it. It'll be yeah. fun. I'm not good <laughs> at it. I don't know. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be. Cares? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's turn into it. Let's turn into guys that just make essentially, it'll be like when wrestlers do stand up. We'll be like Mick Foley, dude. Mm -hmm. We'll be personal. Yeah, yeah, I remember man. the first time I we you know I remember the you first got, time Nick did gay Indian guy or whatever. Yeah, one, and then, oh one, yeah, we'll tell stories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell wild and wacky stories. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Ch the Actually, Chinese the, Jewish guy. The Australian retard was my idea. Let, we like, knew we had some gold there. <laughs> we we knew we were changing history. <laughs> And then just do 25 minutes of requests. <laughs> Did you say Australian retard was your idea? No, I, like I, I, I would lie in my mm. storytelling set. Mm. It was not my idea. Wow. Well, that was a sneaky way to just kind of throw Everyone that in knows there. it was Stav's idea. Yeah. I don't even remember us doing that, honestly. Well, yeah, me either. That remember. was like the I second one. Episode right? three, yeah. Or two. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, I we should. Australian Australian retard was from Race Wars. Who knows? I thought it was on Kurt Mesker's podcast. You know, know, we I should be remember. in Australia I'm right now. My keys. I can't remember who's in Con Air. We would be in Australia right now. I was thinking yeah. that the other day. We'd be in Australia for Greek Easter. We'd be in, in Melbourne. Having we'd be in Sydney actually oh, having really? lamb before the show. Getting some fucking, getting some head from some fucking, some koalas. Damn, I really want to go back to that Greek restaurant in Brisbane. Wait, you mean, uh, you that mean Melbourne? Happened. Yeah, we're in, in Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, where the cheese yeah. was on fire. Oh, we can get, we can get fucking saganaki anywhere, dude. That's the fire, fire, fire cheese of saganaki. Yeah. What is it called? Saganaki. It's called fire cheese. No, that's what you set it on fire. Oh, you it's called saganaki. Damn, I love that. The food where they're like, yeah, we, we fucked up. You can have it while it's still being fucked up. <laughs> if I, I was like, ooh, every time I see it, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Every single time. I'm like, this could go bad. I love the idea of being like an alcoholic, but you have to drink those cocktails instead of get set on fire. <laughs> so you're at home, like, just setting drinks on fire. It's a waste. <laughs> it's just constantly fine. Drinking the flaming mode, dude. Drinking, yeah, drinking flames. Yeah, dude. That's a classic episode. I haven't seen Flaming Moan forever. Great app. Is that shit on Disney Plus? Is that true? What the Flaming Mo episode of the season? <laughs> Specifically, that episode is just on Disney Plus. They just have one. Yeah, yeah. Disney Plus. They don't show tits. They don't show ass or anything, huh? Mm -hmm. In Splash. What, what the fuck does the plus stand for? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Disney minus. We're like I'm it. trying to watch you get his dick sucked by Minnie, dude. Yeah. Oh, pull my cock in your pull my cock in your asshole. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Pluto's just got huge cans. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's the plus should be DV, a deviant art section for Disney. Disney Plus should just be deviant art. Yeah. <laughs> Goofy is definitely packing. Yeah. 
And his balls hang low like his ears. Yeah, droopy ass ball. Droopy got speaking of droopy, droopy, who's not who's a I think a Looney Tune. I believe he got pussy. Oh, I yeah. think I remember that as a child. <laughs> it, there was the one joke he just had a hot ass wife. Droopy dog skates pussy. Dude, for real, look that up. I think Droopy had a hot wife or something. I remember looking at I remember I specifically remember that cartoon and being like, Hell yeah, Droopy, nice, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like being six or seven years old. Yeah, just like uh the Roger Rabbit experience as well. Exactly. I just didn't understand why I wanted to be him so bad. Like I didn't understand Roger why. Rabbit. Yeah, because because his wife was the hottest Hell, woman you, of all. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jessica Rabbit. Come on. Come on. Of course I did. Yeah, you wanted to fuck uh, <sighs> Yeah, the character from the movie did he want to find um, the main the bad guy? But instead of his eyes bulging out, it would be his dick. Mm, okay, that's one. <laughs> I don't remember the movie honestly that well. Yeah, the other two, I, I probably watched it three times in the last six months. And I don't really? Remember. Yeah, they go to Ooh, Toontown. Adam wanted to be the mom of the baby who's getting her ass slapped by the baby. Yeah, all the time. yes, <laughs> no. he did. He no, I didn't. That. That's uh, not true. We You're right. You we, just wanted that baby to slap you on the ass. Yeah, we figured it. I out. wanted that New York <laughs> baby to abuse me. Yeah, yeah, that's the character you wanted. You to wanted be. to be a sub for a baby. Yeah, we we got to the bottom of that. One. I can't wait till that's my real life when I have my first born child. Just get abused by an infant. Just being abused by an infant. Who are you gonna have a child with? Um, probably the next person I have sex with. Yeah. Really. Yeah, why not? I mean, if this quarantine saw me anything, you probably will have kids pretty soon, huh, Adam? Yeah, mm-hmm. and I can't be, and then I'll never be alone because you can't smash there. I cannot smash here, and you're never coming back here. I've been going. Stop it with that, okay? <laughs> I've We're been just going, trying to break you for reality. I've been Adam. trying to. I've been trying to go no no fap though. You know you're not coming back here, right? Stop, Nick. I, ha- you know what's going on. I. Have to be here for a period. Yeah, but I mean, it's just I yeah. Mean, come on. There's you're reasons, really but you're still never coming back. You're never. No one's saying there's not reasons, bro. You're gonna get comfortable, dude. You're gonna get a job at fucking in the video section. You're gonna get yes. a job at Suncoast Video. Yes. And you're gonna get really into you know making DVD, recommendations. Recommendations. DVD have you box seen? Sets. Have, have you seen? To- have you Posters. seen the tombstone by Jean-Marc Boulard de Co? Some mm-hmm. bullshit. Imagine and working it, at Suncoast Video in like 1996. Yeah. And you're like, wow, life could not possibly be worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1996. I'm at Suncoast Video. Oh, yeah. Little yeah. do those motherfuckers know. That place is always so weird. I love it, though. Because I would go in and I would feel like, Damn, this is like a this is where cinephiles go. Yeah, but it, I mean the, the, the it weren't most of them like that weird like black subway tile and red neon. Yes, which is a very like BDSM club kind of like it's there was a, something yeah eighties early nineties. The neon to me denoted class. Yeah, mm-hmm. some about it, I was like, wow. No, it These just it felt like it felt like sick and degenerate to me. Nah, and I would just look only at the because, fucking only because of the black subway tile and the neon. I don't remember the black subway tile. I remember the neon, and the neon definitely drew. Like to me, it felt it compared to like an Fye. It was yeah. the it was much classier. Yeah, Fye. I thought was cool because it was like you no, know, damn, I'll never know anything about music or have interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no if you look at a suncoast video it's all just it's all black i don't know the it's it, maybe the ceilings are like there's some kind of like grid thing going on but it might not be subway tile i just but, i just remember being like damn dude i've never heard of these fucking movies this is fucking awesome yeah and it would be like box sets of shit and like jim carrey movies and shit and i was like box, the jim carrey box set well, there'd be stuff i hadn't heard of mm-hmm. but that was it's obvious just, it's like a fucking, it's a little toy rhinoceros and you have to pull the movies out of its ass. <laughs> that would be awesome, It takes dude. 40 minutes to get the DVD. You're just breaking all the DVDs, pulling them out of a rhinoceros <laughs> ass. You're like, yeah, it's the collector's edition. Yep. Yeah, I got a $300 copy of Ace Ventura 2. Mm-hmm. 
It the, doesn't work, but you get to pull it out of a rhino's ass. Yeah, it comes from it comes in a special box. <laughs> and then you get to put the rhino in your ass. Yeah, they were really waiting for Blu-ray to come along when they started doing that. Remember when, DVD, when, when DVDs got to that point where they're like, now they're now they come in Homer's head. Yes. Like, you know what though? Those that worked for me, dude. Oh, I was great. like, Fuck yeah, dude. yeah, this is great. So it doesn't fit on the shelf. No, no, it sucks. Um, it's a display you, item. You have to it's keep it on a table. It. Yeah. Yep. I, damn. Like buy like going to F or going to fucking Suncoast video and seeing like season three of Friends, the box set. Mm -hmm. Just one season and being like, hell yeah. It would have been nice to get a job at FYE and then like day one, just you know, they put you behind the register and the phone rings and you're like, I'll get it. And you're like, fuck you, entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> this is Eric speaking. And they're like, What are you doing? And you're like, I thought that's what it stood for. It's fuck you, entertainment. You could you probably get away with it once. Yeah. Before, and then just like thinking you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone smart ever worked there, right? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, entertainment. Fuck this you is entertainment. Eric speaking. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just thought I should use the formal full name, but I'll just I say thought FYE. that was the name of the place. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's why I got a job here is because I thought it was more of a fuck you style of entertainment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you got Metallica here. You got fucking Creed. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Puddle of Mud. It's more of a fuck you style. It's a fuck you style. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I, you know I go to the mall, but I uh, the stores I go to are more the fuck you style of retail. You know, Suncoast <laughs> Video, yep. Hot, Topic, Hot Topic, Pack Sun, Fye. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not going to like Abercrombie and Fitch. I'm going to all the like just badass stores, just cool middle stores, stuff, just places. some of the yeah, the fuck you pay me. Sort uh huh. Of like I the want there to be posters of fuck of girls with big tits playing beer. Girls pong. with big tits. The place that sells swords and clocks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, you would consider that a fuck you style? Yeah, of I would. It, but it, it, some of the dark arts fuck you styles. Like I yeah. need to see a guy sell pens next to a twenty thousand dollar chess set. <laughs> Go in there. Now, what about um a GameStop? Is that a fuck you style? No. No, but do you yeah. still go or no? GameStop is the nexus. That's where everybody in the mall goes to GameStop. Yeah, we're right. All, we're all it's going to territory. One way or the <laughs> other. Do you remember that where malls used to have like a GameStop, but then they also had a Babbage's? Or they had like competing video game stores? Babbage's. I don't remember that at all. Well, there was Babbage's, there was EB Games, there was Funko Land, there was GameStop. Eventually remember? GameStop just bought all of them. Yeah, there was like three GameStops I in a mall. EB yeah. Games. Yeah. And there was yeah. no difference between the sun. Those. The sun never sets on fucking GameStop's empire, on the, dude. On the British Empire, <laughs> GameStop's gonna fucking go out of business because of this thing, which is you great. Think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess it's a real shame, dude. Yeah, well, we're guys with ponytails. We're fat guys with ponytails. Going to work now. What a dog shit come. I mean, you should be buying games at Best Buy, anyways. How come? Because it's a bigger store. <laughs> <laughs> always you always go to the cool you always go store. bigger yeah, yeah dude fucking gamestop is for children dude i go to best buy where there's a chance i could be buying an oven i see yes, you, know, yes, yes. you don't know if i'm maybe i'm in here for baby shit or maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe i'm buying a bitch wife something to make me dinner on while she sucks mm -hmm. my dick <laughs> Now, am I at, well? Now, of course, yes. I will be buying a Nintendo Switch controller. Yes. I'm, but... I'm, yes. Can I? Do you, excuse me. Do you have the collectible Kirby Switch <laughs> uh, carrying case? Also, I need an oven for my bitch wife. So my bitch wife, <laughs> <to> fucking <laughs> my, she can suck me oh, off oh, while I'm oh, storing oh, and unstoring oh, my Nintendo oh, Switch oh, in the, <laughs> the Kirby collectible <laughs> pouch. <laughs> <laughs> so she yeah. knows who's bought the, the the sales rep has walked away 10 minutes ago <laughs> and she's sucking me off and i'm <laughs> yeah she's sucking my pockets. yeah my pockets. They're like, Sir, please leave the magnolia section <laughs> what the fuck is that the oh welcome to the they magnolia couch, section dude. yeah they're like this is this is what your life would be like if you were a millionaire yeah you <laughs> have like a special corner of Best Buy for people who think they're rich. I like yeah. to shop and chillax mm -hmm. in luxury. Yeah. What's that? Is it just... 
They should let you smoke cigars over there. I guess it was supposed to be like Magnolia was a company that Best Buy bought where they like did, you know, before it was home called theater. Like, yeah. yeah, before they did like it was called man caves. You would like have all your shit set up by like a guy that's like, you know, you need the TV, but also the speakers. Of course. <laughs> I remember exactly. dude, someone getting speakers attached to their TV. That literally did mean they were rich to me. Yeah. That was like, Oh my God, you fucking have your, your fucking TV plugs into some speakers. Mm-hmm. God. That when I got an apartment for myself, when I was like 20, 21, the first thing I did was put some fucking bookshelf speakers next to the TV. Hell yeah, dude. I On the like, floor. The speakers are awesome. Yeah. I had a couch that I found like in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> And I put some, yeah, I put some, I put some speakers next to that TV. Big respect for that move, yeah. dude. Time for some serious gaming. And the dream was always to have like, you know, a couple. Surround. Of yeah, surround. Instead of just front surround. Mm-hmm. Whatever, but you're living area. the dream right now. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I guess you could say I'm living. You got what? 7.1? <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how like. Uh, my big point, Adam's dick. How little the 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 goalposts shifted in the last decade mm-hmm. on sound equipment on everything in my life. When I was <laughs> yeah. twenty, when I was twenty, I'm like, man, I just want to like fuck off and joke around with my friends, but then also play video games. <laughs> and I remember being right, like uh, twenty two. I'm like, maybe I should read or do something ever. And then yep. I guess I did for a couple of years, and then. No, it's right back to like no. Oh, I, I never had that. I guess I should read. I guess you didn't go to college. That's the thing. Yeah, and I was like, I should, I should, uh, I should. I had it right the first time. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. Just did play. You, just I, did you have like a? I'm, I want to be an intellectual phase. No, what the fuck are you talking about? Stav said. Stav said you didn't go to college. Did you do that in college? I, I want to be an intellectual. He said like, he should read. Should, he should, let me let me parse what Nick was saying. He should stop getting drunk at 10 a.m. and playing video games. All <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what Nick was saying. I was just asking if you did the opposite. Yeah. At that point. No, I was saying I was confused as to why he had that impulse, and I realized it's because he ne- he dropped out of school like 16. So yeah. probably after doing that for eight years in a row, he was like, the, oh, maybe I should read this." Like something. The, then, the reading I did was I read like all of Raymond Chandler. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> It wasn't like becoming an intellectual, That's huh? That's cool. Yeah, Raymond Raymond Chandler rocks. Yeah, that was I, I. I have fond memories of, of Raymond, Raymond Chandler. Chandler. Yeah. What did he write stuff about? It's like it's like it's going. everybody loved Raymond and Chandler. Wrote, wrote yes. a book together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't we make a book? I'm already writing a book. Something like that. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, that sounds exactly like both of them. <laughs> that was not only perfect, but seamless. Yeah. I, I, why don't we write a book? I'm already writing a book. Well, this is your voice. You're just doing me one. You just, you just, only, you barely change. Should I be writing a book anymore? (laughs) 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 Fuck. Goddamn. I was cold, so I closed my window, but now I'm too hot. Damn. What's the weather like in New York? I just remembered those fucking keys. Oh, it's okay, man. It's all right. I'll just go back to thinking about Best Buy. I've been playing Doom Eternal. Is it good? I love it. How are the metal riffs? It's fine, but it's fine. apparently the last Doom was much better. I guess really? I looked at I looked at reviews for Doom Eternal, and it's all people who played the last Doom, and they were like, "I can't believe they fucking fucked it up like this." Really? It's not as well, good as the last one. Yeah. All I've heard is rave reviews. Yeah. But maybe it's because everyone's at home and they have nothing better to do than play I, video I really games. I don't understand how the gaming community continues to be so pissed while they <laughs> spend their entire lives focusing on something that like completely removes any ability like you don't have any you do a thing that is completely inconsequential yeah yes yeah, so that's why what do you mean it's like the most relaxing thing in the world is just sit and waste years of your life playing video games no because on some level they recognize that they're doing that it is a waste yeah. on some level they're getting no pussy they're probably not working as hard at their job yeah so all they have is doom being awesome yeah 
if it doesn't feel awesome to fucking slice an axe through some fucking demon's head, uh huh. What are you gonna do? Talk to us, get you know, suck a titty now. Yeah. Feel rewarded for doing well at his job? No. Never. Never. He's skating by. I just remembered. I gotta check to see. I forgot this was like a regular one. No, this is a. Uh, isn't today Sunday? What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's wing <laughs> night. Bro. It's wing night. You're right, dude. You're yeah. wing I night. Forgot. The only day that matters. Holy shit. Come on, brother. I literally thought today was fucking Sunday. God damn. Come on, buddy. It's wing night. I guess it is wing night, but I had, a, I had a rich dinner last night. There was a pork shoulder on sale, so I had to make one for the boys. And Pete made macaroni and cheese. I don't think I can have wings tonight. What, are you going to have salad? Some rice and beans, something light. Mm. You know? I, I just had a smoothie. Salud. A salud. Bring a smoothie in here. So I guess the answer is yes, it is a, net, a regular episode, Nick. Yeah, well, there's no reads. We're good. Oh, okay. My dick is small. I am gay. Bah, bah, bah. I love having no fucking reads. Yeah. Fuck you, companies. Guess what? Suck our dicks. I can't believe you know what, man. This sucks. I was in I was in like a good mood this morning, too. Like ready to go. That's what it always happened. I was ready to riff. And then fucking and, and what Jeez. I get for trying to be responsible and lock the fucking car. Well, even if you hadn't locked your car, wouldn't you? No, because I never your... take. I leave the keys inside all the time. You leave the I keys never... in the car. No, I leave the keys inside my apartment. My uh... car keys are separate from my house keys. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Damn. I went out there to lock the car, and then I went for a walk. Brutal. And then I got home. Brutal. They're gone. Car still there? No one fucking cased yeah, you? No, no, nobody's fucking. The wheels are off the car. It's sitting <laughs> up on fucking jack stands. Oh, that's why you don't lock it. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, instead of locking it, I take the wheels off the car and bring those inside. <laughs> it's smarter, dude. It's smart. It's smart. You're not going to lose the tires. You're not going to. Exactly. Yep. Show me somebody that's ever lost and misplaced the tires to their car. <laughs> They're too big to fucking lose. <laughs> too big to fail. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. about my penis. They call that the genius mentality. Too big to fail. Chapter two of my book. Leave the keys, take the wheels. Yep. <laughs> now you God, may God. think maybe thinking, what is this? An idiom? No, it's a literal. It's literally what I suggest you do with your car every time. I suggest you park your car. You take the wheels off. Get one of those wrenches. They can't. Yeah, they can't boot you. You also. I said take the windshield wipers off. Yeah. No tickets. No tickets. tickets. Brother, where are you going to put that ticket? Yeah, I'll tell you where, officer. Right up your fucking asshole, you piece of shit. Yeah. Why don't you mail it back to your family in Bangladesh? Let them yeah, pay for stamps it. out of your big ass cargo pockets and fucking mail it back to your family. Yeah, they're they giant. have a lot of Bangladeshi meter maids. Meter maids aren't cops, right? Or they aren't. are. In what, dude? None of the meter maids yeah, in, in on their clothes. None of the meter maids could do any other kind of cop work. They're mm -hmm. all puny bitch. Like I could fuck right. every meter maid up that I've ever seen in Astoria. Yeah. Well, what's the other cop work? Shooting people. Shooting people. Yeah. Dude, to make the name meter maid when you could be a guy that does it, you know, it's yeah. pretty emasculating. Do you want to, to make the, the name of the job a meter maid? Do you want to be the meter maid on the show, Adam? Well, no, I don't want to be a maid. It's a girl thing. Mm. Oh, well, I that, thought you were saying you wanted. You, it's not fair that you don't. Get no, to I was saying that it's maid. emasculating. You're, you're you're jealous that you're you're, you're not jealous that you're not a maid uh, that you don't can't be referred to as a maid. Yeah, I want to be a maid with big old milky tits. Be the podcast yeah. maid. Darth Mater, right? And I've got <laughs> yeah. big tits. Big tits, wearing a little apron. He's like, Luke, Luke. I am your mother. <laughs> he's like, no. Yep. You have a dick. And he's you have like, a dick. Darth, but gen tits. Darth Gender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I How'd am that go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Darth, gen Darth Gender. That's coming. That's the next one. You think so? The next Star Wars? Is that L.A. Times article that's like 
they were the future of Hollywood, but now Corona has put their careers on hold. And it's like this human interest piece on like the people that were supposed to be millionaires, you know, but now, now they, now they yeah, now they can't make the Indian sketch comedy show that they were supposed to make. <laughs> also, who gives a fuck about any entertainment industry person that's right now, dude? And that's the thing. It's like, it just like highlights how nurses they, are dying. Everyone right. else their job. <laughs> workers well there's other shit that was like as pressing you know i mean there's like the, the opioid crisis or unemployment i mean there's like plenty of things yeah. that 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 and it's like this kind of highlights that mentality and the absurdity of it even yeah, in regular time somebody wrote that fucking piece yeah and imagine agreeing to be like interviewed for that right being exactly. like yeah, oh yeah no you're right this is to be tragedy. that much of like a tone deaf narcissist to think that like people are really upset that we're not having like, you know, yeah, our fucking our, like a show that nobody's gonna watch. We've <laughs> already been. Here's the other thing too. It's like they were supposed to. This was supposed to be, and then they described the show, and it's like you could just do that. You could just get on Instagram and do that. Yeah, it's like I'm sorry that the <laughs> infrastructure there isn't there anymore to hand you a fucking career. You can just build your own audience, like everyone else. The people that aren't do ironically the people who the industry has labeled pieces yes. of shit and doesn't want to work with <laughs> had to already do this on their own during right. the era of cancellations yeah so totally. maybe you could figure it out now mm -hmm. you get a fucking podcast bitch fucking ass now's the time for it too i, I mean it's like there people will listen I, you i'm sure you can find an audience i don't know though bro i, I hear that podcast listens are down because People only want to listen to podcasts when they're doing fucking chores. Yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking want I, I the only time I've listened to a podcast is when I'm although I'm true. that's true. The second I stopped like having a day job, I I'd never listen to yeah. I have not listened to a single podcast in the corner. Yeah. I mean I, I listen to fucking when I'm cooking, I'll listen to a sports podcast. And that's the it. only reason this ever happened is because I got into listening to uh the smoking tire when I was like working those truck jobs. Uh -huh. I was listen. I was like all day long. Right. We just listen to podcasts. I'm like, this seems fun. Maybe I should have a podcast. Yeah. And then it became my income, and it's like, of, of course I wouldn't listen to a pod. That's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> it's fight. That's it's insanity. Yeah, there's so much doper shit out there, like Con Air. Con Air, bro. Con Air. <laughs> then what the fuck was Lithgow? In? You know what? I got to look at what Lithgow was in. See, see what I'm confusing it for. I think I he he definitely played a villain in something cool like this. No, he's not a villain in the movie that I'm thinking of. You sure? Yeah, he's just some fucking government dweeb. Hmm. All right. Let's. What see. else has he done? Harry and the Hendersons, Third Rock from the Sun. He was uh the bad guy in Blowout. Uh, Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. What's Blowout? It's a movie with John Travolta. Not familiar. Brian, By the way, I love having hair again, dude. Yeah, I think it's I think it suits you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that ironically. I can't wait. I'm just gonna grow my shit out, dude. It feels nice to just have that shit. Coming. Actually, it looks kind of nice with the mustache. It's kind of vintage. Yeah, dude, I'm a vintage motherfucker. Yeah, vintage Stavros. <laughs> vintage <laughs> he's, he's old fashioned, dude. He's turning into an old 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 hollywood back when they were all conservatives that's right mm -hmm. i'm a republican and i don't care that i look like absolute dog shit yeah glazed uh, and glazed and bread pilled <laughs> i am bread pilled stops mentality i'm gonna start baking breads and shit yeah i got a skin mixer that i starter? use one time you should make some i want to make a cake yeah yeah i've been i've been wanting cake bro that I've seems like it's, cake for like five days Fairly, huh? fairly easy to make a cake. I don't have any of the ingredients though. It's hard yeah. to get flour right now. There's a flour out. Maybe, maybe it's cliffhanger is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. The Stallone, the Stallone, uh, that's the Stallone movie, right? Where he climbs shit. Yes, it's the Stallone movie. It's like, hey, yeah, climb up this uh, hill. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite Stallone movie is the one. Hey, where yeah, yeah, climb up a hill over here. <laughs> you get to the top of the hill, you go right back down the hill. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He wins that. My yeah. favorite is the movie where he's a fucking over the top. Yeah. The arm wrestling. 
Yeah, you rock. gotta go over the top. Man. <laughs> the top man. You, you go over it. When you go over the top, man, you, well, you come right back down. <laughs> <laughs> what about Cobra? Have you ever seen Cobra? That's a really yeah, good Yeah, it's a Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it seems like a cop. You know, the cop has to go over where bad guys are, and then you just uh, you take them down. <laughs> you, take, you take the bad guys down. You take them up, or you take them right back down. You take the bad guys up, and then you take them down. <laughs> Shouts out to Cobretti. What a good name. Yeah. I wish my, if I was Italian, I would change my name to Cobretti for sure. Detective Snake Cabretti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what his nickname is? Oh, is it Cobra? No. I, geez, I didn't even think of that. No, we call him That's, Big Johnny. Yeah, we called him Big John. <laughs> Cobra's good, though. That's smart. <laughs> You're going to do well here on the new hell police department. <laughs> Welcome to Hell America. We named the city Hell Town. <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have so much crime if we changed the name of the city from Hell Town to yeah. from from Neo the Hell <laughs> to, <Yeah. laughs> to something like I don't know, Pleasant Place, <laughs> Pleasantville, Pleasant no, City, no rape mm -hmm. America, no rape America. That would be yeah. Cool. Time to die, pig. That movie sucks. It's very bad. Cobra. No, Cobra rules, dude. <laughs> He's awesome. He's just, it's the most fucking. Did he write it? He wrote it, right? Cobra is the most Blue Lives Matter ass fantasy I've ever seen in my life, dude. Cobra's yeah. just murdering people and shit. No one gives a fuck. What's a lot better than that is uh, Stone Cold. I used to pair the two. I would watch Cobra and Stone Cold. Nice little double feature. Yeah, and Stone Cold's way more fun. Wait, Stone Cold, is that Stallone as well? No, it's Brian Bosworth. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, the boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy rocks, dude. Yeah, and like Lance Henriksen Deep is the bad guy. Player. Lance Henriksen is the bad guy, and they have this like weird sexual tension the whole time. <laughs> I think at one point, he's like, even like, he's like, I want to watch you fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that Daniel from The Wire? Who's, Who's Lance Hendrickson? No, you're thinking of Lance Reddick. You're oh, that's Lance Reddick. That would be hot. Bosworth and Lance Reddick fucking would be nice, dude. Little fucking Lance, Ebony Ivory. Lance Hendrickson is, um, you know him. He's in a bunch of shit. He's Bishop and Alien. Mm, yes. Uh, Probably his most iconic role. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. The only one that comes to mind, but he's in a bunch of shit. You know who he is. He was, wasn't he on that show Sentinel? You remember Sentinel? No, I not Sentinel. Millennium. Didn't see that one either, brother. Where he was like a like a cop that was psychic, and he could oh, like see shit. see the way people do murders. Hell remember yeah. that was a thing for a while. Like there's all this dumb shit. For, people yeah. forget that fact checking didn't exist until like 2003. So there'd just be TV shows where like the FBI's top psychics, and you were like, "Yeah, of course, the FBI. They got psychics that work there." And Jamie you know, Lee, uh, what's your face? No, not Curtis. People are saying that they can't get the link on Patreon right now. Um, Jamie P. Curtis. Yeah, Jamie P. Curtis. Mm -hmm. big fat. Instead of Titch, you had just fat turds coming yeah. out of the list. <laughs> Jamie P. Curtis. <laughs> Yeah, there aren't that many people in this thing, but yeah, I got. I'm getting messages that people can't get in. Well, I, it's not on Patreon. Well, guess what? But there are people in yeah. here. So. Uh, Whatever. You know what? I'm, yeah, I'm looking at. I'm looking at the thing now, and it's just not saving, and I don't know why. Hmm. The the video. Yeah. Well, um, Patreon got stuck. Like. Fuck. Yeah, it just got stuck like save like saving. Oh, that's the weird. link. Yeah. Hmm. Well <clears throat> that's we gay. Here that's we pretty gay. No, no, this should work. No, just delete it and remake it. 
There we go. Okay, now it works. Nice. Well, good thing we didn't really say anything funny up until this point. Yeah. We had, you know, there's a, a lot of really good riffs. There's the one about um Chandler and Raymond <laughs> that I did, of course, famously. Oh, I thought that was a dunk. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, I just want to have sex with a girl. Well, we should probably do some extra time then. I did Legion of Skanks yeah. the other night. It's crazy that that's, it's just a two-hour show. Nice. Just keep going. I had fun doing Matt and Shane, too. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are good. Yeah. Yeah, two-hour show. I guess it's just like, fuck it. We're just going to go. Just mm -hmm. fill up the time. I respect that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what we do, but for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind, of, kind of our ethos, but half as much time. <laughs> you want to see if we can hit two hours? Uh, I'm not particularly. No? You don't want... You got stuff you got to do? I have to piss. I have yeah, to... I mean, you, can go, you can go piss. I'll go piss. If I got a snack, I can do it. Oh, you could do it? You could carry the show for another hour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> do it. Do some Jewish-style comedy. Go ahead. What do you got? Damn, how do I fucking get into... Well, I guess because it's published now. Sorry about that. Yeah, I see the like number going up. Patreon got stuck saving the link. And... How do I suck I just, my own dick? I just clicked through to the live stream instead of checking nice. to make sure that Patreon worked. But... Um, oh, yeah. People if you're just joining yep. us... If you're just joining us now, yes. my car keys are gone, and I'm furious. <laughs> Nick has been pissed for the last 40 minutes, 45 I minutes. I am livid. <laughs> and here are the key details. I never lock my car. Mm -hmm. Today I locked my car to be responsible yep. and proceeded to immediately lose my keys on a mile-long walk. Yep, that's tough. I'm going to – now I'm thinking about it again. I'd calm you, down. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. What's You're hot, dude. Why don't we find the guy with the exact same car as you, rob him, take those keys? Because that's not how keys work. Oh, you know how keys work, Adam? It's, well, yeah, they're, they're, the the key. Oh, one right. car. oh, what do we got, Mr. Key Genius? I don't think here? they're the same model of car. <laughs> oh, what do we got, the genius of keys? Yeah, they call me the master Shining of keys. In. Yeah. If you, if you find the exact same gear, make, and model of a car, mm probably gonna work especially an old car yeah i don't know I'm, i mean that yeah old cars i think did work that way no i mean maybe I, there's a way through the wiring harness to trip the relay for the door unlock for the central locking if i just attach it directly to the battery maybe but i don't fucking i, I would have to i would i mean I, all the time, bro well, I, I I don't know. I mean, the way the doors are set up, the, there's no way into the lock mechanism from that side of the the window goes down. It, you just can't you can't get a, a coat hanger in there. Mm. Uh, so I don't know. I really have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. If anybody knows how to steal cars, if anybody knows how to steal cars, this is also too a thing I've never once practiced, and it requires like some kind of finesse that I'm not gonna develop. I'm gonna end up just destroying the fucking door. And punching <laughs> holes in it and shatter. Yeah. I'm not what if you out. saw a fucking metal ass box yeah. around the lock? Got in that way. What if I took a sawzall and cut a hole through the door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that is a great suggestion. <laughs> what if I what if I just completely destroyed the car? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a little hole. I mm. think I don't know. Don't locksmiths do something where they like jam the door open or some shit? They have like yeah, a fucking. You can put what I could do is I could get a bike. I have an inner tube for a bike, and I could wedge that into the door frame and then pump that shit up. Just fold it up a bunch on itself, pump that up. Maybe get some space in there. Drop like a um, like a either like a shoelace or a piece of string with a slip knot on it, and then pop the door lock that way. Slip knot. But I already, you cool. know, I made a Slim Jim out of a ruler that I cut with aviation snips. Couldn't get nice. it that way. Wow. Couldn't get it with the fucking coat hanger. Fuck. So, yeah. It's got to be bike pump time, dude. 
I can try that, but I mean, it's all just guessing as to like what may work. I mean, doesn't it feel good though to be a criminal? <sighs> no, it would feel better just have my fucking car keys back. <laughs> yeah, it does. That was yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good to lose your keys, mate. What's the worst thing you've ever lost, Adam? My dignity. <laughs> That's true. That is true. That's <laughs> never. You can retrace your steps to all you want. It's never coming back. <laughs> Did you did you retrace your steps? I tried. <laughs> Very few men could walk a, a mile in, in these in these uh, penny loafers. Yeah, which you keep, you keep the pennies in your pocket just to be safe. Yep. <laughs> did they really have pennies in the loafers? Is that how they got their name? Yeah, you put pennies in them. Hmm. That's what penny loafers are. You buy them know. and then you put the penny in them. I had no idea. Yeah. What do you think they call them that? Is there a little slot for them? Yeah, it's a slot. Nice. Just for one cent. Anytime you, you need one cent. You've exactly. never seen penny loafers? Uh, no, I can't say that I exactly know what they look like off the top of my head. Yeah, there's a little slot that you put a penny in. Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Back in the days where yeah, paying men's really cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here we go. Here, copy image. We'll send this right over to you. Yeah, we'll, just, yeah, we'll post that to you. You can take a look there. How do I sign? Why don't you go ahead and take a look at these uh at these loafers here and see if you uh -huh. like that. Mm. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. I guess we should look up and see what the fuck Magnolia is at Best Buy. Yeah, why don't we figure that out? Yeah, we should that I'm we can back and hold my mic now. We need to get to the bottom of this. Let's find out what Magnolia is. Magnolia premium audio and video. Did we talk about Magnolia the fucking movie last time? Um, here we go. Solved. What is Magnolia Home Theater on the Best Buy support forum? Let's find out. I'm fucking. I'm on pins and needles. How do I give my dad head? I want to know. <laughs> no, they were never bought out. I get. Wait, hold on. Partnership. No, it was it was its own thing. Mm. Best Buy originally introduced to select the Best Buy stores in 2004. Magnolia Home Theater is unique, and now they're just they look like dog shit now. Oh yeah, you go in there and the cup holders ripped out by a homeless person. <laughs> There's a bunch of TVs stacked on top of each other. And you're like, please, I just want to remember life before the recession for a minute. I just want to know what it was like in the first know. year. W. Bush's term, first, the first term. Yeah, the first couple before of years. The fucking towers came George out. W. Bush before 9-11, the best America ever got. Yeah. I loved it. While I was working at Suncoast Video, me the and my boy... The possibilities were endless. Me and my boy Ralph smoking weed, talking about the Matrix. <laughs> that maybe, hit up, maybe hit up Ani Ann's, get some, uh, yeah. get some pretzel bites, dip them in cheese. Right on. These are get healthy. They're healthy. They're but you guys have they're small. Hot dogs. They're small, so they're healthy. Dogs. They're healthy because they're small. <laughs> it's a pretzel. That's what adults eat. It's not candy, so it's healthy for you. It's not yeah. sweet. Yeah. 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 I'm eating healthy. I'm on a diet. Yeah, I'm, on a diet. I'm having pretzel bites, and I'm going to Orange Julius <laughs> first. For a uh, juice, it helps my body. It's, good. <laughs> it's healthy for you. I had a Beyond Burger last night. Gotta say, not bad. Not that good. You've had them? I thought they were gonna be great. The people, the way people talk about them shits, it's like, well, they're the best ones of all time. Suck dick. I mean, the texture is pretty good. I had a, I had a fuck. There's a veggie burger in Cleveland, at the Green Something Something, across the street from Hilarities. It's the best veggie burger I've ever had in my life, dude. Really? I go there, the Green Something Tavern. Yeah. I don't know wait, what they do. They got wait, beans. We, we all went there, didn't we? No, that Stav's barbecue place. Right. Remember, we went to that barbecue place across from Hilarities. No, Stav was in the hotel, icing his foot. That's right. So it was me and you. We went to the, the barbecue That's place. Right. Yeah, that That's guy right. was I like, that guy was like, the barbecue here is awesome. Cleveland style. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> Cleveland style. We're like, Cleveland style barbecue. Like, what? So, yeah, I was like, what is Cleveland style barbecue? He's like, well, just, we got pork, brisket. I was yeah. like, that's. <laughs> It's not 
Yeah. <laughs> you got Cleveland style sauces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that place sucked. Yeah, it was not. It good. was fine, but it wasn't Cleveland style. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah that was kind of sad. Sucks. That one street where they're like trying to bring back downtown street. Yeah. Well, Whereas every like city, there was every once city a does that. City there. You know what I every you city can... every city does that and then they pretend that they invented jazz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> every it's like some fucking like council member is just some dickhead white guy is like, remember how we came up with jet ja- how our city was the jazz city? <laughs> the jazz and it's city. like the air force and jazz presents n- yes. night nighttime by fucking Milwaukee, the city nights. <laughs> Dude, right it was good. so funny. In Austin, they have they have the House of Blues yeah. right next to Fenway, and they have this big like mural for all these black like famous black musicians. And it's like re- the Red Sox owner didn't allow a black player on his team until like thirty years after Jackie Robinson. They were the yeah. last team to integrate. They're the most famously racist organization, and they just have this mural to these fucking mm-hmm. black people that this guy would never allow in his ballpark yeah. at all. Right. They're like, well, time to revitalize an industrial area. Xanarans. Fucking. (laughs) We all do it. That is so fucking true. Yeah, you're right. Baltimore has that. Mm -hmm. Jazz in fucking Baltimore. (laughs) Cleveland's sad because you can tell that it was like um, an important city at one point. Oh, it was important. The buildings are really nice. Bro. What? Mm -hmm. How is Cleveland important? The Erie Canal. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Every so. city was important in the sense that there was no, jobs and some kind of industry American there for a long time. I'm not so- I mean, it's not the way like Detroit was. Yeah. Like, Detroit was like a fucking like an international city almost. Although I think it was similar, you know, I think it's similar to Detroit's the post industrial Midwest. Nah, Detroit was bigger than Cleveland. Come on. Yeah. I don't know if it was bigger or smaller, but they're uh, both Detroit different. Detroit yeah. Detroit was like Chicago. It'd be like if Chicago turned into a fucking like just nothing. Mm-hmm. Cleveland was as good as Baltimore, except Baltimore was better. Yeah. Bitch. The best the cities, beat. the best cities in the country ranked. Number one, Trenton. <laughs> Trenton right. makes the cut world takes. Number Dayton, two, Ohio. Number two, Stockton, California. <laughs> <laughs> What's Stockton? That's just some shithole town in Northern California. Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Florida. You just Funny. you just wanted to let everyone know that you know how to say the name of that town. You Do you remember that ad for like if you're going to you Disney, stay in Kissimmee? That you're was like, that. Ooh. In your head, you were like, "Ooh, people probably pronounce it wrong, but I now I know the right way." So I'm going to bring I just it up. That ad. I used to I'm going to bring like it up whenever I can. We're naming cities, and I'm picking. We're naming ones. important cities. Not even a city. It's also got Disney World. It's not even like. The fake city. It's not. We're, we're coming up with economically depressed places that always sucked. That place probably. <laughs> and you pick like kind of like a middle of the road town that has Disney World. Yeah, that's no, true. Disney World in Orlando. It it's doesn't next, fit. It next doesn't. Orlando. It doesn't fit. I think it fits because it's like, it doesn't fit to, the riff. No, you're trying to bring up again okay. go, for the you second go, go. time this month. Oh, just go. Just go. Did you bring up kissing me before? He did. I think it's the second time I brought it up on. Yeah, he did. So he can. Uh, Kissimmee, uh, by the way. You don't remember that? Waiting. He's been fantasizing about an, an opportunity to correct someone. That's why he brought up Disney Plus earlier. Oh, like, maybe we can get. Wrong, maybe we can. Maybe I can I bring up stuff Disney about Disney that. World. Do and not maybe that. someone will say. Maybe oh, someone will say <laughs> Kissimmee wrong. <laughs> and then I could be like, oh, actually, it's uh, Kissimmee. That has never happened once. It happens almost every show. Yeah, literally because, I, because you can't somebody. you can't contain yourself. It happens literally every show. I would because say because you be can't fun. you can't even wait for the opportunity to correct someone. You you're just gonna, have to. You're you're gonna, you have to do this to me in front of my mother, who's watching yeah. the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's watching the live stream. Adam's watching. family's in the living room on the TV on a Roku watching this right now. <laughs> every time he said it, he said it right. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> God damn, that would be so funny if my parents ever watched this. Yeah. Oh my god, please no. Um so what uh, do you want to go back into economically depressed American city? Oh, um let me see. Oh yeah, the, the ironic list of the best cities in the country. Yeah. Or most important, rather. Most important. 
Yeah. As important as Ohio or as uh, Cleveland. I guess uh, Troy, New York. Yes. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Troy is good. Um, oh, uh, uh, Sh- uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Shreveport, yep. Yeah. Scranton, Pennsylvania. It does count, I would say. That counts. Mm-hmm. Yep. That'd be, Although the that'd office. Be, yeah, it'd be a nice tour. The office is probably big for their economy. Trenton, Scranton, Detroit, Detroit. Uh, Schenectady, Shreveport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Popping fucking... all the way down to Louisiana for that one. <laughs> it's kind of all over here, but we're going to do one. <laughs> yes. Um... Mm-hmm. Simi St. Cloud, Florida. No, that one does oh. not count. I'm sorry. I'm should, I, should, I, should I fucking do that, that thing where you tattoo little dots on your head? Yeah. So it looks yeah. like it. So it looks oh, like sure. they're hand. You should just take a sharpie to it and see how that looks. It's Wasn't there like a, a like a, a the TV ad in like the 80s or something yeah. where that looks good, dude? It looks full. Just you start dotting it. Yeah, just dot just it in. Dot that up. Yeah. No, that looks that looks good, dude. Keep going. <laughs> it's really good, right? Yeah, but start with the hairline. Put the hair. Yeah, start yeah. where you want the hairline to be. Yeah, you got to go lower, lower than that. No, no, where your I'm your saying, hairline used to be, that. dude. You oh, got to go where. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what you do? Take your hand, and yeah. then do do this, and then the width of your fingers is where your hairline should start from your eyebrows to there. I think yeah. Just okay. Like All right. Yeah. Half an inch above the eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Can't even tell. Oh yeah. Oh, you're looking thick, dude. We're getting <laughs> men are becoming so much more beautiful in quarantine. It's so true. <laughs> and the women look like dogs. They look like, <laughs> they're gonna come out of this looking busted. Mm-hmm. They look like fucking dogs. The bro. women are gonna have to fuck dogs by the end of this spell. <laughs> We're gonna be you. so fucking beautiful. I'm not fucking no chicks. I'm not having sex with girls ever again. I'm only fucking my dotted up pot, my partners. All right. <laughs> Me and my my dot my dot head partner are gonna fuck. Dude, honestly, when I do this, that looks good, dude. Yeah. People are like, "Is that James Bond?" (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, is that James Bond, the this the international debonair man of government? Government. Yeah. The government servant. The public servant, James Bond. (laughs) How much does James Bond make? Uh, thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay, my five. Yeah, not that much. <laughs> that would be so fucking annoying to be and James Bond. Gambling Bunker. addict too. Do we ever see? Where's the James Bond? Do we ever see his house? No. Yeah, I think might show you where he lives. Yeah, that's true. You never see where James Bond lives. Do you not? No. no. It'd be that's funny if they of- they eventually show his house and it's just filled with like that bullshit from Target. <laughs> you know, like yeah. when you're here, you're Target home. That would be yeah. Target home and they're like a fucking like a Wallace and Gromit Funko Pop. Mm. Yeah, like one of those old like uh Italian liquor posters. Yeah, like girls get after mm-hmm. they graduate college in their first apartment. They're like it's yeah. classy. Mm-hmm. You frame a framed poster. A Campari poster, yeah. A framed Campari poster from nineteen. Campari, a little Campari and soda. Campari soda is a nice, nice summer drink. Damn, I've been drinking here. Have you? The old man. Yeah. You getting fucking toasted? Not really. I've been getting. I've been staying so six p.m. with you. Would you say, Adam? Six p.m. Scotch. It's a thing that the men in my family do i have to start being a man like tea time yeah we have a tea time scotch and then a 6 p.m scotch then an after dinner scotch or breakfast scotch i wish i had a brown sharpie that would probably work better with my the color of my hair yeah that's that's really the only problem the tone but now see these are kind of big though if i got little tiny ones i think it would work what do you got in your mouth, Adam? 
I don't know. It's a piece of cardboard that I found that I've been playing with in my. You know how. Yeah. I know. You know I play. I, I, I got pissed, boy. So I'll be right back. Did you buy those DVDs, Nick? What DVDs? The ones you sent us from Amazon. Oh, no. I just watched some of that show on YouTube. Very funny. What is it? I don't know. Just some like fucking A and E show that's like, that's just like, like shitty television actors doing like, um, um, like fucking noir detective stuff. But they're all like just like middle aged fatsos or whatever, being like, "Yo, what's the business, Chopper?" <laughs> Very like dumb costumes, and all the YouTube comments are great because it's just like elderly autistic people. And be like, they like just miss the show. Yeah, and they're like, this this quality of English has been unheard. You can't find, you know, what's it called? Um, Nero Wolf, and he's Nero Wolf. It's just a fat detective. Yeah. It, well, the character is like one of those, like, uh, um, let me see the A and E show. Yeah, a Nero Wolf mystery was the uh, was the A and E show. <laughs> Rex Stout is the other. I gotta piss fucking too. All right, you can leave me. I mean, wait for a stop. Or... Well, yeah, I gotta wait for stop to come back. Oh, uh, that's his gaming chair. This is his bed, his orthopedic bed. <laughs> I like his headboard. It looks like he's a, like an orphanage or something. Um, it's nice. Yeah, I don't know why. Just go platform. You know, if you're gonna have the shittiest bed. A platform just, bed. Yeah, that's what I have. Just I have a, yeah. I've been thinking about getting a new bed. I still don't know. I, I like because I'll, I'll, conti- I'll continue to read like mattress reviews, and I still have no idea. They're all over the place. Oh yeah, completely. Yeah. All right. You now I'm gonna. Pen. I gotta piss. You get. It. <laughs> what were you guys Literally. talking about while I was gone? Uh, talking about your gaming chair. He was telling us about that TV show that he sent us the other day. Oh, oh yeah, if you smudge it. Oh, dude, if I smudge it, it actually looks good for real. It actually it does look good. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, that looks like hair. That looks like hair, bro. Dude, if I got, got brown. Thick, Rod Blagojevich right now. You got a thick mane, brother. Does Rod Did Rod get another toupee that's, that's white? Or is that his real hair? Yeah, I think that's just his style. Rob's got a toupee, I thought. Oh, I thought he just had a sick style. Oh, yeah, dude. This looks good. Yeah, I got hair, bro. You should dye your hair, dude. (laughs) What color should I get? I'm going through my blonde phase. I'm a dumb bitch. Maybe I should get... I should dye... I should should dye my sides blonde. Yeah, I think... (laughs) I should shave them at the center of my head and keep the sides horseshoe style and dye the sides blonde, dude. That's not bad. Yeah. Why not go toupee? Why not go toupee? Huh. I might. I'm I'm open to it. How do you keep it on? You glue it? I think so. I think I you have some, like I think I you have like some, Velcro. There's toupee Instagram I got into the other day. I was really? looking at a lot of like the, like very custom dressed up toupees. That's awesome, dude. Your stylists that like make your toupee look like give you that dumb haircut, the Macklemore. They're like this hairstylist is like changing people's lives. They last for like, I think you have to get them readjusted every two weeks. Dude, I'm going. I'm getting a toupee. Fuck it. <clears throat> I'm getting a toupee until my hair is long enough for a ponytail. That's a good look, honestly. I'm on a ponytail, dude. <laughs> but it's good. How long do you think a ponytail would take? Like six months. I think longer. I don't think I've gotten a haircut in six months, and it's just like it's not that long. Fuck, are you serious? Maybe I could have a small pony at the back, though. All I need is a small pony at the back, dude. Yeah, you could. Oh, you could do that in six months for sure. For sure. What I'm gonna start doing is just maybe trimming the top and leaving the sides, <laughs> so the sides keep growing. Yeah. Put like a number that- two up top. I think that's sick, dude. Dude, that's my plan. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck, it is wing night, isn't it? Yeah, you I was can't thinking, break, you can't huh? break tradition, dude. 
condition. I have to get. We wings. must keep living. We can't let this virus change us. <laughs> sure. Last wing night we watched the thing. That shit rocked. You should have a. You and your roommates should have a, like a like a, you know theme nights, fancy dress nights. Mm. What's the theme? You can do like uh, uh, CEOs and corporate hoes. You could do one. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Do a pimp, pimps and pimps, pimps and hoes. Yeah, <laughs> do a, yep. You know, just like something that a fraternity would get in trouble for. Yeah. Maybe do a blackface night. Blackface night. No pictures. Uh, everyone puts their phones away so you can't get canceled. But everyone knows, you know. Everyone that's there knows that we're you know doing what's all, really naughty. The best part, the all the remember when like there's like six months where every politician kept getting in trouble for blackface. Remember that guy yeah. from Virginia? Yeah, the he's guy, still the governor, I think. Yeah, he's still the governor. <laughs> he was remember he was gonna moonwalk during it, and his wife had to stop him because <laughs> he was in blackface with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't even he was about to moonwalk at a press conference. Yeah, you could have just gotten like a wet looking wig. Yeah. Michael Jackson taped your nose a little bit like small. Mm -hmm. People used to fucking love blackface, dude. Yeah, it's a major American art form that now we're not allowed to do. <laughs> That's true. Roger Sterling, remember in, in uh Mad Men, he's in blackface. They should have a if, if doing they, cosplay will be seen as rude future the video game characters who are now real yeah someone's gonna get married to a video game the, character the singularity and now video game characters are considered real and it's offensive to dress like cloud <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know though because it's not offensive to dress like jay-z you just can't put blackface on i think um, i would think it's probably not allowed anymore even no. if you're not you can dress as Jay Z if you're not in, like mm -hmm. you can do, do Beyonce that, and Jay Z. There was some post a couple of years ago that was like, "Wow, my son went to school for Halloween this year as his hero, Malcolm X, and it didn't require doing any blackface whatsoever." And it's just like a white kid wearing a suit with glasses on. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he looks like fast. a nerd. He looks. He doesn't look like Malcolm X. He has to explain it to everyone. It's Ooh. not his hero. You made it's him do not, this. Yeah, this his is, hero is a fire truck. Yeah, that's he's like he likes a guy who plays sports. Mm. There's no way a little fucking dumbass white kid loves Malcolm X. <laughs> not, not when he's four, you know. Like he, like maybe if he's eleven and a real fucking nerd, sure. But yeah, they should. What's the guy that did the baseball and the jazz documentary? Ken, Ken Burns. Burns. They should do a Ken Burns about blackface. Yeah, letters from I try. I try. Dear, Mar Dear Marge, I, I tried the most incredible thing the other day. I greased my face and I appeared to be a new truck. Hell yeah, that, dude. That like older black woman historian that they always go to or whatever. And she's like, well, the shoe polish gives you a tactile appreciation for the experience, but not a spiritual one. <laughs> Oh, she's pro in this documentary. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Like an objective. Just Shelby Foot being like, well, not only was blackface a sign of respect, but that in many ways uh, one could, uh, you know, even extrapolate a sense that the blackface actors who may be white were taking a greater risk historically than the African American counterpart. So, in many ways, yeah, the southern black white men who chose to be black made more of a sacrifice. <laughs> You're the real hero. Than, than the, uh, the uh, African American. Um, then the and then it cuts. Right, yeah. <clears throat> uh, right. African American. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then that African American. <laughs> <kind of black. laughs> <laughs> <It's Steve's mouth. laughs> yeah, they do the Conan thing where it's just another person's mouth over it. <laughs> African Americans. <laughs> Shouts out to Dancing the God doing blackface. Ted Dance used to have a little ponytail. Do you guys remember that? 
Is that your inspo? That was fucked up. Mel Gibson had a cool ponytail in Lethal Weapon 3. So yeah. sick. That's and a he, good look. And he would just like tie it back to make it look like a fucking comb they over. Didn't, they didn't know what to do after 80s mullets. Yeah. Did everybody Dude, my, one. My what? aesthetic post-quarantine is going to be Val Kilmer final machine gun fight uh, in Heat where I'm wearing a suit and I have a very slick back ponytail. Yeah, you can't pull that off. Is a great combo. Well, I can if I get the machine gun. You couldn't pull it off. You could pull it off. You would look like a kindergarten teacher, but a female one. If you were wearing a suit and a, you look like a lesbian kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Point. Point <cake. laughs> yeah, maybe I should rewatch Time Cop after this. Who's in that? Jean Claude Van Damme. Remember the video put, game for that? Time there was an NES game? game. No, I don't. No, you're thinking of Time Crisis. No, it's, Time Crisis was a uh, it was at the arcade. Yeah, I'm I think there was a, a note. Time Cop NES game. I remember. I'm making a note to watch Time Cop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my cinema. How about um, mm-hmm. Time Top? Time Top. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have to go into the, the I have to go into the future to get my penis sucked. <laughs> you don't you don't understand. There is a criminal and he is in the future. And if I don't go into the future to get my cock sucked, then he is going to do something real bad. <laughs> like, Very good, Jean Claude. Just keep doing the splits. Keep doing the splits. Don't worry, we'll yeah. dub your vo- we'll dub your voice over later. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come take a look at my face, tough guy? <laughs> hey, always be ready. <laughs> always be ready. He's, just, he's the worst of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. As an actor, for sure. But As a great martial actor. artist. Oh, the best in that regard. Yeah. The only one who could actually fight of all the 80s guys. It's basically just, it's basically Stallone and Schwarzenegger. They're the tops. And then Van Damme is right underneath, I would say. Yeah, in terms Skull of fight? Skull huh? knows Skull knows the key though. But... Skull was yeah. He was Seagal, a... I'm just talking in terms of stars, star power. Yeah. What about Lundgren? Lundgren just shot guns. Hmm. Lundgren, Lundgren was, was never Lund... the star. Yeah, Lundgren was actually a like a real kickboxer. Yeah, he's also and he was like, a scientist too. Yeah, he's like a genius. Yeah, he's really so smart. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, Lundgren's a like a true badass, I guess. But it just goes anyway. to show you, it doesn't matter if you're smart. Yeah, well, I think you, it's time to go watch Time Cop. Sounds good to me, man. Yeah, sounds good. I gotta have lunch. Yeah, what are you I'm gonna, gonna have? The West Coast. I think I'm gonna have leftover lasagna. Ooh, lasagna. I'm gonna do, digest and then do do my burpees. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna what do you, what, what kind of burpees are you doing? You jump up, go he down. Well, his, dad had, puts, his dad puts him on his shoulder and taps his back. Oh yeah, That's so, so he can be the he can be a baby, but then also the woman slapped by the baby. <laughs> no, I don't. His dream. No, I ha- <laughs> he needs to film so I can see that I'm doing my form right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. Your dad just has a big ass old ass camera. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah for like family videos from the early nineties. Yeah. <laughs> A little misting bottle <laughs> he keeps hitting you with. <laughs> we edit it together on the computer. <laughs> God damn. It's so funny how little shit gets done. After talking with you guys for an hour and a half, I'm like, Phew. well, that was a busy day. Time to fuck. Right. I'm just going to go go back to being mad about my keys. I'm already yeah. gearing up for that. Yeah, I, I feel like I've done a pretty good job containing just no, how, to- how fucking angry I am. As a man who has lost so many of his things, I commend you mm, mm. for being interested to even talk. All right. Well, see you later, folks. Folks, goodbye.